Previously, we talked about the minimum dimensions and the axis distance of the beam and the slab. Now, we're going to look into the minimum dimensions and the axis distance for the columns. First of all, the purpose of minimum dimensions as well as the axis distance is meant for the fire resistance. The relevant value may be obtained from Eurocode 2 part 1-2 in terms of the structural fire design. To get the minimum column dimensions as well as the axis distance for the column, you may refer to either table 5.2a or table 5.2b. Both are applicable for rectangular and circular columns. Now you might want to ask what are the differences between table 5.2a and table 5.2b. The main differences it will be the method used for assessing the fire resistance of column. If you refer to table 5.2a, you see a factor mu fi and this mu fi can be obtained from this formula. This is applicable to method A. Now if you use table 5.2b, there is no mu fi. Instead, you will see omega and also the n. That means now the minimum width of the column as well as the axis distance is determined on the basis of omega as well as the n. To make it simple, there are two methods for you to determine the axis distance as well as the minimum dimensions of the column. You may choose either one. The two methods have different approaches for you to determine the axis distance and the minimum dimension. Therefore, the tables that you are referring, it will be different. Method 1, use the mu fi. Where else method B, use the n as well as the omega. Now, what is mu fi? It is the reduction factor for the design load level in the fire situation. Specifically, we are talking about a ratio in terms of the design action loads in the fire situation versus the design resistance of the column in the normal temperature. The mu fi here is quantifying how much resistance of the column under the normal temperature against the design load in the fire situation. Now if you use method B, you will need to determine the load level at the normal temperature, which is the N. It is also calculated on basis of a ratio which n not ed fi refers to the Asian load during the fire conditions. This is compared against the reduced Asian resistance of the column by a 30%. AC referring to the area of the concrete. FCD, the design concrete stress. AC multiply FCD refers to the axial strength of the concrete of the column plus the axial resistance provided by the steel in the column. Assuming the summations of both carry the full capacity of the column with a 30% reduction. And this end here represent a ratio in terms of the loads under fire conditions versus the resistance of the column. How about the omega? It is a ratio in terms of the axial resistance provided by the steel reinforcement versus the axial resistance provided by the concrete. Should you choose to use table 5.2a 
then you only need to calculate mu fi now if you choose to use table 5.2b then you need to calculate the load level and also the mechanical reinforcement ratio having this understood now let us look into how do you read the table we have the standard fire resistance half an hour, one hour, one and a half hour, two hour and so on and so forth and then you see a series of numbers the first number here represents the column width the second number here represents the axis distance taking this as an example you would like to design a column with the fire rating of one and a half hours and you use the formulas to calculate the mu fi and the up with 0 0.5 that gives you two options either providing the column size of 300mm or 400mm each with different axis distance Smaller column size will require larger axis distance. Bear in mind that the axis distance that we are calculating for the columns does not include ASD. Whatever value that you obtain from the axis distance, there is no need for you to add up an additional of 10 mm. And then you see there are conditions for the column. If the column is exposed on only one side, you may refer to column number 5. Now, if you have more than one side being exposed, the column number 2, number 3 and number 4 will be relevant. What does it mean by the column exposed in one side or more than one side? Let me give you a scenario. If you have a column entirely exposed, this kind of column normally you see in the open space none of the side is being attached or in contact with the wall then that will be the column exposed on more than one side let's say now you have a wall here and another wall here just happen that your column is here this will be the exposed side where else this side will be unexposed that will give you the conditions of exposed on only one side and then it is always a good practice for you to check the axis distance that you have obtained in comparison with the nominal cover that you have calculated based on the exposure class whichever giving you a thicker cover that will govern the thickness of the cover and then you see the double stars here referring to the footnote here that means this section here will require at least 8 units of reinforcement bar in the column this is about table 5.2a how about table 5.2b this is when you use the method B find the N and also the Omega refer to the table based on the desired fire resistance get the relevant Omega and find the relevant N for you to determine the required minimum dimensions as well as the minimum axis distance the first number here refers to the minimum column width whereas the second number here refers to the axis distance you have two options here either column of the size of 300 mm or 400 mm the axis distance are different based on the column size and then you see there are stars here 
it means that the assist distance provided here is relatively low there is high chance that the nominal cover will determine the final thickness of the cover for the column section again it is always a good practice for you to check the axis distance against the equivalent concrete cover use whichever giving you the thicker cover as the final design and then you see here there is number one here you may refer to the footnote here it means that you will require the column width greater than 600 mm and also you need to do an assessment for the buckling 